Now, due to a recent statement of talking about how Black Frieza is now approaching a level of that of a god of destruction, I feel like now's probably the best time to go ahead and see if this statement holds up to anything and if Beerus is actually stronger than Black Frieza. Haven't talked about Dragon Ball in a while, but if you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments. And with that out of the way, I would like to clarify before enjoying the video, because obviously you're going to enjoy my video, it, it, it's Ty Learned. I'm going to be getting into super manga spoilers, so for those who care, there's your warning get out now before we get into black frieza's scaling i feel like we should address where beerus stacks up due to him being a very inconsistent character when it comes to power and it doesn't help that the manga and anime have different takes on his strength now in the manga we see Beerus show off what he's really capable of in the exhibition matches for the TLP. He should be just as much of a threat to the likes of Belmont or any of the other competent gods of destruction. This is important as Jiren in both the anime and manga surpasses Belmont and should be stronger than the gods of destruction. Goku obviously gets Ultra Instinct and surpasses Jiren so that should just mean Goku has surpassed Beerus by this point right? Well for the anime's continuity it seems to be the case but for the manga not really. Goku would go on to match Master Ultra Instinct, which puts Vegeta on a crazy training arc to catch up and even fight the likes of Moro. Moro, by this point, being a tougher opponent than that of Jiren or Broly, and even before he fully powered up, he implies that he just transcends the gods blatantly. Though, this could just be in reference to the Supreme Kais, as that's kind of his main relationship with the gods. It's the Kais, not really the gods of destruction. But in the next arc anyway, we see Vegeta going on to train with Beerus and gain a whole transformation that's as strong as Goku's Ultra Instinct form. And yet, these guys are still below Granola, who wishes to become the very strongest, who Gas would go on to actually become, with Goku and Vegeta now being forced to fight alongside each other to take out Gas. And also, mind you, Goku and Vegeta by this point should be above Broly, the same guy who was already put into question if he was above Beerus or not. So, I mean, by this point, you think that Beerus just gets left in the dust by the Moro arc, and with Black Frieza turning gas into dust and one-shotting both Goku and Vegeta, you'd think Beerus versus Frieza would just be a stop. However, this may not actually be the case, as we see in Dragon Ball Super Hero, we have implications of a hypothetical full-powered Cell Max being unstoppable and not even Broly could take him. This seems to imply that current Broly should be above of anyone in this movie since Cell is going to become so unstoppable that not even Broly can finish him. Like, why would they bring up Broly and not Gohan Beast? Vegeta currently are training this Broly, and if Gohan is implied to be the strongest in the universe and you have Broly upscaling from him, the same Broly that's implied to be relative to Beerus, and although he's been getting stronger, you can say the same thing for Beerus as he's been training with Vegeta, or you can just jot it up to Beerus is suppressed though. So, weirdly enough, there is a way for Beerus to come out on top, and of course, we have this statement itself of Frieza approaching God tier. So it really comes down to which line of scaling is better, line one or line two. I'm not going to lie. I think line two doesn't really hold up as much as line one, especially given the fact that Broly should be training and the increase he should be getting would be way more exponential than Beerus. Broly before the training might have already been stronger depending on what you think about Jiren versus Beerus or Broly. So we have not only Jiren and Broly pretty much approaching if not surpassing that God of Destruction tier. We have Moro and Granola as well being threats that are implied to be way stronger as well and we do have that like brief moment in the Moro arc where Beerus was going to try and intervene against Moro but I don't think this really means anything since I think regardless Moro versus Beerus is somewhat of a discussion. And for more proof of this they were considered considering to fuse against Moro, but it really wasn't a factor because of the spirit fission thing, but they were considering it, meaning you have Blue Vegito or Gogeta being forced to come out, who in the manga might have already surpassed Beerus, at least Vegito. So we have not only Jiren and Broly and Moro having scaling above this guy, but I mean, the entire Granola arc was for Goku and Vegeta to discover the strongest in the universe, which was Granola. And there was not one moment in this arc where Beerus in terms of power was relevant. It was Goku and Vegeta catching up to Granola and then they had to catch up to gas and now they have to catch up to frieza now we do know beerus is still a goal for goku and vegeta but i mean so is frieza now and it's kind of hard to really argue for Beerus. Aside from just predicting when Beerus and Goku are going to have their fight, therefore he may or may not be above Frieza because he's going to be fighting either an earlier or later Goku than Frieza. Which pretty much means the whole Beerus side of arguments is purely speculation and not really anything concrete. 
To sum this video up and answer who I think wins, Black Frieza should stop Beerus 10 out of 10 times until Toyotara decides to say that Beerus was actually never trying and just make him a goalpost for Vegeta and Goku to surpass. So that statement of Black Frieza not only gets contradicted by feats, but I honestly think it's more so of a promotional thing to kind of hype up Frieza because that tier of God of Destruction is still pretty recognizable within the Dragon Ball verse. So if you think Goku and Vegeta just stomp the G.O.D. tier, it probably still doesn't contradict the reputation that the gods hold, which is why they are trying to hype up Frieza like this. And if anyone actually thinks, oh my god, it stated that Frieza's got a destruction tier, Moro, Broly, and Jiren are above him, then you, you know what? You do you, bro.